Please raise your right hand and say, so help me God. So help me God. Jacob Gedeiseki Sazuma, the President of the Republic of South Africa. We will undertake the largest program of public investment in infrastructure in this country's history. I come to South Africa excited to be investing here. Ajay Gupta was quite a sharp guy. So he worked out what state policy was, looking where's the big public money, how do we get into that? Are the Guptas influencing you in running the government? No, they are not influencing me. As journalists, we started digging more and more into why are the Guptas behaving the way that they are behaving? What were the politicians exactly linked to? Every single move appeared to be designed to facilitate extraction. We're talking about you know, millions, if not billions, flowing out to the Guptas. I was approached by a person in possession of a hard drive. The hard drive came from a Gupta computer. The evidence suddenly is there and it, it says, you're not just right, it's, it's far worse than you thought it was. President Zuma isn't running this country. Others are running this country. Series of explosive emails have been made public in South Africa, revealing how the ruling ANC no longer controls the state apparatus. You get goosebumps, and then you also enter into that realm of fear. And when Jacob Zuma stands down, the people will stand up again. You stole our land! You stole our land! This was a systemic collapse of state institutions. He also said that if I worked with them, I would become very rich. What does that show? That's a million rand, exactly. Every single contract was tainted with bribes and corruption. They came here as traders. They sold uh, shoes out to the boot of the car. And they left here as multi-billionaires with a jet. Did Mr. Gupta enjoy government support? Um, <clears throat> I'm not sure.